Today, we're talking audio. Did you hear that? Did you hear how the music in our intro came to a nice, natural end? The music continues on after this point, but we've made it sound like it's supposed to end there to fit our intro. And that's the technique I'm going to show you today. Let's get into Premiere and I'll show you how it's done. Wait a minute, what? Away we go! I've got a track loaded up in the project already, zoned out, which I've linked down in the description. The first thing you want to do is drag that clip down onto the timeline. Have a quick playthrough and look out for any hard points. And by this I mean hard snares, gaps in the music, or kick drums. This is normally at the start or end of a bar, preferably the end. So I think I found a good point there at around the 34 second mark. Play it back a couple of times to make sure that it sounds like the song could end there. The point that I've stopped on is just before a snare. Tab back with the arrow keys until you're just before the snare kicks. Then put a marker in so you know where this point is and cut. Now you need to find the very next point in the song where something else happens like a kick drum. Tab back one frame again from that and cut. You can delete the rest of the track because this is where we're going to end it. Next, nest that tiny slice of music, go into the nested sequence you've just created and drag the slice all the way to the start, then go back to the original sequence. Grab the reverb effect and drop it on. Drop down the custom menu and turn the size dial all the way up and have a listen. Mine sounds alright so far, but could do with a little tweaking. I'm going to turn the size down a little bit and it also sounds a bit loud so I'm going to turn it down by 2 decibels. Have a quick listen through to see what we've got so far and see if it sounds like the song should end there. So far it sounds pretty good, I think the song could end there. We just need to do some tidying up and then we're done. Drag the tail of the clip down where the reverb can't be heard anymore and put a constant gain effect on it to make it come to an even more natural end. So there you go, it's as easy as that. Now you can end any song wherever you want, regardless of how long your video is. If you like the content, subscribe and give us a thumbs up.